What's up YouTube, Coco here with a new video today and today I'll be showcasing all weapons and the locations for those weapons um, in Rogue Banners Online. And we're going we're gonna to automatically start off with the first weapon in the game, um, the Katana. Uh, it's a decent weapon and it's, and it's like it's really useful for starters, whatever or not. It's, this, this blade will help you go a long way, um, though it only gives you 5 uh, more like melee damage, it is still pretty good. Sadly it has no skill, but I'm going to showcase it. As y'all see, this is how it looks. Looks pretty fire, pretty fire. Oh, shit. Show y'all how this thing look, you feel me? What's this thing do? Pretty good so far, you know what I'm feeling? You feel me? Pretty, pretty, pretty decent damage, pretty decent damage. I'm a man. Like, plus I got, like, like, mind you, my, my, these are my stats. So, like, you're gonna be killing, I'm gonna be killing NPCs faster than you are with this blade. So, yeah, this is the first blade. Second blade, um, we have Pirate's Katana, a uh, weaker version of of um, of the Katana, or I, mean, I should say Pirate Cutlass, whatever, Cutlass, whatever or not. Weaker version of the Katana, uh, only does give you two plus melee, um, melee, uh, yeah, it just gives you two plus melee damage. Um, most players will probably get this after, after, like, like after they get the Katana, um, but. I mean, you can get this too. This there, there will be a quest around the map, uh, like, like around a ridge or whatever. Whatnot, they'll give you this uh, weapon. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I ain't never seen nobody use it because I mean, it's like so bad. It's bad type of shit. But you know, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Let's test the damage. I don't. Uh, oh boy. You air, you air being again? Hold on, nigga. I'm lagging. Shit, ooh, what the? Whoa. No, no, no. Shit on full. Bear with me, y'all. Air bending NBCs are the most annoying and hardest to fight, bro. It's just. As you see here. Swinging animation and all that shit. Okay. Alright, fuck. Next, Alright, next, next blade. We gonna go. We gonna go with uh, this this blade, the Royal uh, uh, Cut Cutlass. Uh, now this this um, weapon we can get from the boss I'm fighting right now. Um, it's a one percent drop drop chance of getting it. Um, yeah, it's a one percent drop chance of getting it. Get, it does. It gives you the same amount of uh, damage boost as the um, Gatana, but only thing only different is only thing that's different is the M1, whatever one out design, and this actually has skill unlike the. Uh, I like the katana, so yeah. We're gonna use it on old boy right here. Hopefully he ain't winning again. Alright, he's fired, he's fired. Wait. That was kind of a kind of a kind of a delay right there. I don't know. I was trying to I was trying to come I was trying to combo in, like with it like just in one like one two inches. Use it but I, I don't know why it's not. Yeah, I was I was trying to do that. But yeah. Next blade. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with this one. Zuko's uh, blade, twin katanas or twin swords, whatever or not. Um, this is really good. Um, the drop chance of getting this weapon is 10% from the uh, Zuko boss. Um, gives you 15% more. I mean, not 15%, 15 more uh, melee damage, and it even has a skill. So, yeah, let's use it on old boy. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. This is very good for like combo extending, whatever or not, and just flinging your opponents around and shit, or even, or even like escaping if you're just like a like a bitch ass nigga in game, you know. Some players in this game really be bitch ass. Oh, he did perfect block. Uh, some some people in this game really be bitch ass nigga. Anyway, next weapon. We're gonna go with this one. This is like the second best weapon in the game, um, in my opinion. But this this is the twin um, hammers. Uh, sadly, most players will not be able to get this unless they're Earthbender. This weapon is Earthbender exclusive only, um, and it gives you 25 uh, more melee uh, damage. You go to swinging animation, and it comes with a move. Pretty cool, pretty cool, and yeah. Right, let's use it on. on oh, and yeah, of course it's a win. Let's use it on him. The thing, the thing about this move though is like, um, it is very interruptible. Inter interruptible. When you're trying to like use it. Um, easy to dodge, and it doesn't really do that much damage, but I guess it's just, I mean, 
I guess it's just there for extra damage and you know just for some for um goodness for fucking earth bands to have Bro. see this see this is the shit right here I fuck it's the one problem I have with this fucking game I don't, I, oh oh my god alright hold on y'all niggas gotta lock in Goodness. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just showcase the move one more time. Very simple. Fuck. Should not have taken that long. I, I, I hate I hate airbending so much. Again. Next, we're gonna go with my personal favorite, uh, the chi blocking on the oil, the electrical baton, uh, batons. This is a uh, this weapon is a one percent chance of getting um as y'all seen it, it gives you 10 percent more melee damage it has no move but to make up for the lacks the likes the liking that it's doing um uh it does have electrical hits it's not always it's, it's not like it's not like every hit you get static shock whatever one there's a chance of getting it um it's like a little knockback damage and like a little static shock out afterwards and let's see can we put it off on him he got he got water but yeah there you go there y'all go it's my, this is my personal favorite. It's, it's just, it's just so cool. It, it, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's just something cool about this weapon. Sadly, sadly, it's not as broken as the NPC that uses it. Cause like when the NPC uses it, bro, every hit is, is a knockback plus static shock. So that shit gets really annoying. Like four hits and I'm four to five hits and I'm like over with type shit. Next, we are gonna go with what is this? Royal Carlos, Cutlass. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, damn. All right, I guess next we're gonna go with this one, the last sword. Um, this is a uh, also a one percent drop chance, but uh, but this is also the strongest sword in the game. Um, it has no skill, sadly. I, I hope hopefully there'll be a skill for it in the future. But um, it's the strongest sword of the game, and it has a, a fastest fastest swing time. So I guess it's, it kind of makes up for that, you know. I ran right into that shit, but let's use it on him. I literally fucking block. There you go. There you go. Simple as that, you know. And and they're also they're also gonna be like a wee worker this blade, so it's probably it is probably gonna get like a, a a move in the future. Now for the locations, um, to get the like the, to to get these two swords, all uh, right, this one, a uh, pirate sword and a uh, cutlass. No, well, pirate sword you get from a quest, but cutlass you get strictly from him. So, uh, and it's a one percent chance, like I said. Uh, so I, so y'all, uh, I'm a, okay. So like most of y'all are like new players or whatever, or not, or just don't know where this boss is at type shit. So I'm gonna go to the shop. Like as you see right here, the shop right here. If y'all, if y'all know where this is, que this quest at is right. This quest right here, uh, this should be. Okay, no. This, if y'all know where this quest is at, right, in the shop then y'all then y'all will be able to find the um the boss or better yet let's 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 say we're in the middle of this miss let's say you know let's say we're right here if, if we're in the, like the middle of this map it's gonna it's gonna the, the boss location is northeast simple as that it's northeast simple as that all right that's that's where you get the uh location that's that's the location for the royal sword you know to get the um to get the uh to get the uh, 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 uh um to get the uh what's, what's I'm gonna call it this sword this sword the um the space sword you you, you need to go with south yeah you, you, south south you, you gotta go you gotta go southeast southeast from uh the boss so right just pretty much just go straight right from the boss so uh yeah southeast just go straight right from the boss and you'll um uh, see him well it's not really a boss it's like like a multitude of enemies but like after you kill like a certain number like the big version of it spawns and then that that's the NPC that gives you the drop as you see down there southeast oh no yeah i was right the first time south 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 it's, it's just it's just south of the uh south is southeast of the uh, pirate boss come down here and these are the NPCs that give you uh the space sword um, and also they, they also give like a little wolf hat that's on their head too, so that's pretty cool. You know? pretty cool. 
Yeah, that's 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 specifically the NPC that's gonna give you the sword. The, the big, the big guy. The big guy. Also, uh, y'all already noticed. Like I said, you get this from a quest, and you get this from the shop too. So there's no need for me to tell y'all that. Now, next, we're gonna, going, we're gonna be going to the other side of the city, and I'm pretty sure we everybody knows where this shit is at. So I'm gonna just jump cut there. All right, now that we're on the other side of the city, y'all, I'm gonna show you the first location. Uh, for the I'm gonna show you the location for the Zugo, so twin swords, right? Where, where the fuck is shit at? Damn, I, I, I done lost it. Oh, oh well, no, dual swords. Uh, um, all you gotta do is come over here. Um, just come over here. You, you can go between the alleyway as, as well, but just come over here, right? Hit this corner, and then your boy, uh, Prince Zuko is gonna be right here. You can also get his mask, there's like 1.5% chance of getting it. So, slightly higher than the fucking sword. Um, for the, uh, for the electrical batons, right? These, you just come in here, and yeah, you come in here, And fight. Yeah, you fight this NPC right here. Yeah, this guy right here. Y'all, y'all have fun uh, grinding him. But yeah, that's all. I, <laughs> hey, that's all I gotta say. And yeah, percentage for that one, one percent chance. Z Zuko's blades, five percent chance. Uh, for Earthbenders, if y'all want the wep, y'all want the um uh, weapon, all you gotta do is come over here. West side of this city. Why oh, is this nigga here? I'm trying to do a fucking video. I'm doing a video like fuck. You come over here and then yeah, this guy right here. This guy right here, he, he's like this guy, he gives you like 10% chance, I think. 10% chance of this blade. Um and yeah. And that's and that's pretty much all the weapons and weapon locations in this game. But there's like two weapons I didn't show y'all, and that's for like airbenders because like i'm not an airbender so that's that weapon is air exclusive but pretty much you just come over here from where the earth guy is at and then the boss is at here right um he'll drop one of the i think he drops an orange glider whatever or not a blue glider whatever or not and it's like the gliders are like a weapon slash transportation thing so yeah he drops it i'm pretty sure i don't know what percent chance it is probably like 10 one percent one one of those two he can also get like a glider from the um from the uh what should i call it store uh for for air business and yeah but that's all if y'all enjoyed this video found this video informational helpful all that good shit whatever or not make sure y'all like comment subscribe bro and i'll see y'all next video uh peace out